Are you looking for a coral that adds motion to your reef aquarium? Maybe you're looking for a coral that's very easy to care for. Well, you're in luck because in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five things that you need to know to be successful with pulsing Xenia. This coral is incredibly popular among reef enthusiasts for its unique pulsing ability. And this is one of those corals that you either love it or you hate it because people say that it grows like a weed and it can take over your entire reef aquarium. And some people just love the relaxing, peaceful nature of the pulsing hands opening and closing. Now, first off, number five, when it comes to pulsing Xenia, they are filter feeders and it is not required to feed the pulsing Xenia. They will pick up the, the food that they eat and the nutrition from the water column and your light source. So you can broadcast feed your tank and they should do just fine. The next thing you need to know when caring for pulsing Xenia is the placement of the Xenia. Where are you going to put them in your tank? Now, since they're relatively easy to care for, they don't mind different areas of the tank. So you can place them like in the sand bed, mid-level, up high in your rock work. You can pretty much put the pulsing Xenia anywhere in your tank. In my experience, I had a lot of pulsing Xenia back in my 210 gallon reef tank and there was a whole colony that formed and just continued to grow and they would spring up pretty much anywhere. But you do want to avoid placing the pulsing Xenia next to other corals. You don't want them to shade or stunt the growth of neighboring corals because if they're blocking the light from those corals they're not getting the same amount of light so it may affect their growth but remember that pulsing xenia do grow very quickly so plan for that when you're getting them in your tank a lot of times i see hobbyists place corals all around their tank and not really planning any room for those corals to grow and so there's just a bunch of corals butted up right next to each other I'm guilty of this at times as well. Um, I think we all do that. We get excited about putting corals in the tank and we don't think about how they're gonna grow in the future. So be sure to plan for that. Leave plenty of space for them to take over an entire rock if you want them to or to take over an entire section in your aquarium. Hey, if you like the content here on the Coral Reef Talk and you wanna support the work that I'm doing, please consider picking up a Coral Reef Talk t-shirt at the Coral Reef Talk shop. The links are right below this video. You can click on the Teespring shop, pick up some merch. And if you're enjoying the current video right now, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And now back to the video. So coming in at number three is water chemistry. Pulsing Xenia are great for beginner hobbyists because they can handle different fluctuations in your water parameters. And it's said amongst the hobby that Pulsing Xenia like dirtier tank water and that means a little bit more elevated levels of nitrates. As you're trying to figure out your reef aquarium, uh, sometimes your parameters get out of whack as you're learning how to control those and understand water chemistry. So if your nitrates are a little bit higher, uh, pulsing Xenia can handle that fluctuation and they actually like that. And sometimes you can even see them pulsing a little bit more. Now coming in at number two is water flow. What is the best water flow for pulsing Xenia. Now with water parameters, they're very forgiving and they can also handle a variety of water flow in your tank. They like moderate to high water flow and if they're in lower water flow, you can actually see them pulsing a little bit more instead of them getting blown around by the current. However, they like a little bit of everything. So put them in your tank and kind of move them around at first, when you first initially put them in there, you can put them low in the tank and the rock work, see how they're doing, see if you like that spot. You don't wanna blast this coral. Uh, you just want a nice indirect flow moving through the coral to keep them moving in your reef tank. That brings us to the number one thing to know to be successful with pulsing Xenia is your lighting. So if you have the proper reef aquarium lighting over your tank to grow corals, then you're gonna be just fine. So the pulsing Xenia tends to like a little bit lower light, but it also does well in moderate and high lighting as well. So if you've seen the green star polyps in my current reef aquarium, I started them low in the tank and they work their way up higher to the light. Pulsing Xenia will do uh, something very similar as they grow, they will keep on reaching up to the light. So you can put them in the middle of your tank, high up on the rock work, 
and they will be just fine. They will adjust and adapt. They are very forgiving, very adaptable, and they're just a very easy coral to keep. So if you're a beginner reef hobbyist and you're looking for a great soft coral to have in your aquarium, the pulsing Xenia is amazing because of one, the way they pulse and how easy they are to take care of. One thing to be mindful of is that they grow really quickly. And if you're not too particular about how much of this coral you can have in your reef tank, then they will grow and overtake a certain area. Uh, you can try to isolate them on a small little rock. However, they will bud off, float around the tank and start growing somewhere else as well. So just be mindful about that. And from time to time, you may have to prune them out of your tank, give them to a fellow reef keeper um, or take them back to your local fish store and try to get some trade-in value. There's a lot of benefits to it growing very quickly in your reef aquarium. It's a fast way to get your tank set up with coral when you're looking to start a reef tank for the first time and get your first soft corals in your tank. But the Pulsing Xenia is a great coral addition to any reef aquarium and you'll get hours of enjoyment just watching them open and close and just pulse and grow in your reef aquarium and if you want to know about another easy coral to keep if you're a beginner in the hobby then check out this video right here thank you so much for watching liking and commenting on this video and i will see you in the next one